Well, hello there, everyone. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the North America Divided Mod 4, Hearts of Iron 4, in which we're playing as James Allred, the leader, the stout defender of the Republic of Texas currently. But as you can tell from the thumbnail, we're not going to go down with that James Allred path, but Garner returns from Haiti. Garner, at the fall of the Union, fled Haiti with Congress and much more of the old American government. Since the old remnants of the government in Haiti have since capitulated in the Haitian Revolution, Garner's return to Texas, fleeing prosecution by the Haitian government. Should we let him in or keep him out? Garner's always be welcome. Make sure to stay with us from the start. Yeah, we'll welcome him in. James Allred's first term. Allred was elected in 1934. It's time to finish off his first term and organize our forces. We must gather our forces and assemble our forgotten assets. So, as we can from the thumbnail, we will have an, an election and go down with the whole LBJ Arena. The first Red River War began in July 1931. When a dispute over a toll bridge blew up in a full-fledged shootout between a la fla 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 bell and guardsmen in the Texas Rangers, a conflict in which two Texas Rangers were shot dead after the shootout. Federal court ruled Oklahoma had the right to the bridge, which caused Texas Governor Sterling to claim the Texas Army to occupy not only the bridge, but Colbert, Oklahoma. In return, a full-fledged border war broke out in the Red River Valley between Texas and Oklahoma soldiers. While the conflict didn't decimate the region, it caused trust in the national government to plummet as the two states exchanged bullets. Due to the dust bowl and cost of weapons and the men, Texas elected peace of candidate Ma Ferguson in 1932. Despite this, the Texas Rangers sworn enemies of Oklahoma held a four-month coup in Austin to avoid peace. By the summer of 1933, they yielded to pressure for the Red River War truce, which allowed shared, across, uh, ac shared access to the bridge. Darn Oki trash, we'll put them in their place this time. Are we going to war with them? Immediately? We're training right now. So, they're not looking good. We're not looking good, too good either. They're led by William Murray, legend of Alpha 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 Bill. The Sykes, Texas, and our friend of Huey. Which I have seen before that these guys might ally against us, which is not good. Rapid education reform, poor motorization. Uh, we're looking okay in terms of industry and manpower and stuff. Actually, industry is not too bad. We're actually doing pretty okay. We need a lot of guns, a lot of support equipment, a lot of trucks. I'm trying to make some planes as well, so. <clears throat> what do we have over here? So, with this campaign. We can, of course, unite the Rio Grande, which would be kind of cool. The Rio Grande uh, Nation. Or we could form the old state of Reno that starts with a C. <clears throat> I'm not sure we'll actually go down that route, just because I, I did that last time we played in North Carolina, but we'll see. But if you haven't seen that campaign, you should totally go check it out. What is this? Relax regulations. Influence of the Texas Rangers will increase. Replace weak Texas Rangers with Texas Rangers. Oh, that's not bad. Titan regulations. Influence of the Texas Rangers decreases. Very weak Texas Rangers, huh? So we have, what, National Spears? Weak Texas Rangers. Before the Union fell apart, they were solely being integrated into other parts of Texas, as such, the police force and road patrol. They have since then been given back some authority to secure our independence from the Union. However, they continue to be weak force within Texas. We have segregation. We got the Great Depression. We got a crime wave. And then we have outdated artillery. But, uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Let's see, what else do we want to do here? What do we have around here? Actually, with that route, what is he, progressive? Democracy. They do not consider LBJ progressive at all? Bruh. I guess this guy is more progressive. Miriam, or got a woman. Um, pa Ferguson. Um, build a better Texas. Well, I guess it's democracy, huh? That's populist. And there's a special route, the Triple K. So, all red. But he's also democratic. All right. Uh, all right. Well, it is what it is. I just want more political power, but I don't think we'll get that. Cowboy advisor. That's kind of kind of cool. Sell the workhorse, Alex. Sure, we'll go with you. 0.78. That's still not very much. The crime was really bad, but we're organizing our forces regardless. Texas Rangers out of control. Our military is falling apart. Texas pacifist movement. Second Red River War. Um. Now what? I guess the war's going to fire. Give more power to the Rangers. I don't know. Let's see what happens. That sounds like fun. Texas Rangers? As long as these guys don't all try to kill us at the same time, that'd be really bad, you know? And I forgot to train infantry. My bad. I should do that. I want, I want some cavalry, too. Cool. There you go. We're going to need way more guns now. Way, 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 way more guns. Actually, we should probably buy some weapons. Time regulations. Influence of Texas Rangers decrease. Regulations decrease. You lose political power that way, but... You do get more attack. You get more organization as well, which is pretty good. Oh. Well. This ain't gonna be good. Port Arthur? Really? Port Arthur's all the way over there? Really? I used to live that close. Huh. Alright. 
yeah, we ain't gonna have enough divisions for this. Good luck, guys. We're gonna need it. Um, honestly, if we're gonna tighten regulations, influence decreases, very weak Texas Rangers. Yeah, at this point, like, we're gonna need more attack, more war support. We lose some stability, get some lose some organization. We're gonna some political power, that's fine. The Red River Incident. For about two weeks now, our troops have been amassing the Oklahoma border by themselves. For a good reason, though. Around two weeks ago, a Texan fisherman was shot on the Red River. He was mistaken as a soldier because of the dense fog that day. Most of the people in Texas support their decision and many call for war. This is the last time Oklahoma will spit in our face even dare to stand before us. Also, in every episode when I play as a single state, I do like to ask you guys a couple questions, such as, for today's, for how many years was the Republic of Texas independent? For how many years? Was the Republic of Texas independent before it joined, uh, you know, the rest of the U.S.? So let me know in the comments below, and I'll give you the answer in tomorrow's episode. So right now we can do all this fuss over one fisherman. That really sucks. We must not allow them to get away with this. We go to war with them and Louis. Oh my gosh, them and Louisiana. That's the same. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. I'm not ready for war. We have no manpower. Um. If that's the case, here, stop training too. Who will win? Well, Second Red River War. We could have done this one, but. Alright. Texas faced down the Oki Barbarians in 1931 in the First Red River War over a bridge. We lost that war, however. We stand tall and regain our honor. Well, in eight months, or when Dallas and Houston have been occupied. If only Dallas or Houston is occupied within eight months, then it will result in a victory for Louisiana and Oklahoma. If both Dallas and Houston become occupied, it will result in instant victory for Louisiana and Oklahoma. If we occupy the borders of Texas, or Oklahoma, and the northwestern most part of the Louisiana, then Texas wins the Second River War. New Orleans is still made if, no, if they're not meant in eight months. National tragedy. Limited conscription. Yeah. So, we need the borders of Oklahoma and the northwestern most of Louisiana. This is kind of insane. You're going to start off in a conflict like this? How the heck are we supposed to win? Uh, um, we, we don't have guns for this. So if that's the case, um... You guys do that. You can have the other guy we just got rid of. Oh, you guys aren't even very good anyways. Oh, goodness. This is not good. Uh, they're not attacking over there. Can you actually win there, maybe? No, we immediately start losing. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. I mean, we're doing okay. I mean, they're, they're forcing the attack, which is pretty nice, actually, for us. Um, maybe we could beat the crap out of Louisiana first. Maybe? Um. Holy smoky fathers. I want to attack, but how do they have so many divisions, man? This ain't good. Could you all do something like you guys attack right there, maybe? And then they immediately start attacking us. Yeah, this is not cool. Construction one's nice. Um, maybe grab some infantry equipment immediately. Good God, we need more manpower. Anything they really care about? No, not really. They're slowly beating us up here, too. Like, I don't understand what we're supposed to do. Just sit here and die? Is that it? Second Red River War. Hopefully we'll start mobilizing war. God dang it. Firm st stand firm against, against the Rangers. Give more stability. And now temporary draft. That's not bad. Give more power to the Rangers. Lose stability and more political power. Let the Rangers handle it. I don't know. Let's go with the Rangers, I guess. I could be wrong about that, but... Mm. 
Yeah, I doubt you could do anything on offense. And you just lose it. I mean, what the heck? I don't like to start a game off by starting in a losing war. That's not our fault at all. This literally makes no sense to me. They're forcing the attack as well. You know what? You can go, go suck a fat one. Haciendas. You should be able to win there. Alright, I have my idea too. Holy crap. Going there for now. No, you hold, you hold. Alright, that nation's gone. Uh, gives us more war support, which is important. Let the rangers handle it. Okay, well, we can let them handle it. See what they can do. See what they can come up with. See what y'all are up to. Alright, um, we're using tactical bombers to begin, so we'll go with that route for now. Ooh, this one might... I want to get uh, more guns immediately, but this one actually might be really good for us to do. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's not bad either. Ur Urban. Cost is not bad, but yeah, we just we need guns. In the field immediately. We have a lot of infantry, though. That could be very useful to us, though. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? If we can use them now and immediately go for 100, maybe. Amarillo. Alright, so what type of buffs do they have for their own soldiers? Because this is kind of stupid. Infantry attack. Dante artillery. First Red Victory War. That's pretty bad for them. Um, that's some core territory. New Orleans riots? Yeah, you better have more riots. This is stupid. We can't hold him back. Yeah, he's live there. Got it, Swampy. Yeah, this is stupid. I don't like this at all. Sort of border skirmers. They've acted upon their own initiative and started a small, small localized border on conflict. I want more war sports, so we need more war sport immediately. Because they're breaking through like crazy. Okay, well, this is suicidal, so we have to go in immediately then. You know what? Force it. We gotta go in. I mean, this is... This is... I don't like this at all. I, I I really do not like this whatsoever. We, we lost the war then. We've literally just lost the war. I miss it. Uh, sure. I like to buy weapons, but we don't have divisions for this. Um, and then adjust war. All right. I'm gonna bait down too. Really hot down there. Yeah, this needs to be rebalanced. I mean, honestly, this is not this is not very good. We get flipping in circle here too. Are you kidding me? Well, you guys don't do that. You guys go right there. Mechanical computing. Um, no, it's a little bit ahead of time. Fighters. So when is this going to be over? Like I don't, I don't like this. This is this is god awful. This is one of the worst things I've seen. Just give me more more war sport at this point because we're going to lose completely. Yeah, there's no way you can win this. You try to defend as much as possible, but it's not it's, it's not not possible. Please tell me it's almost over. I don't like this at all. Yep, just go ambusher, I guess. I mean, how? 29,000 losses. I mean, you think you get more war support, you get better defense on territory. We can't do anything. Why is it designed like this? I don't, I hate wars like this. Oh, you're going to be forced to go to war like this so you can just lose to the enemies. Why? Why? You're just destined to lose. That is not very smart <laughs> in terms of, you know, mechanics in the game. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, this is over. We've lost. What, what's the point of this whole war? 
They retreat over here so they don't get circled and completely killed off. Dakota War, at least, you know, they're killing each other too. Well, now he basically linked up, so. Worst defense, might as well. Um, heavy loss for Texas. Louisiana has proposed us a peace deal, pushing for many claims in eastern Texas. Oh my god. Well, we lost it all. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen in the history of my Hoi 4 playing. Oh my god. Who designed this? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, I'm not. I'm not sorry at all. This is terrible. All Red Hat to cancel election 36 due to the dangerous tension around the Second River, Red River War. Must return to democracy. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? Ah. <laughs> uh... The clan aggregates. With the political chaos engulfing the nation, many prominent figures under the KKK in Texas have gathered and released a manifesto. The goals unite all the former southern United States under the clan, and they plan to drive out all those who oppose them either to extinction or simply out of the country. Some have gathered, started gathering support in many of the major cities. They better be, remain peaceful. Yeah, that is terrible. This is god awful. Like, who designed it like this? I'm sorry, but this pisses me off to no end. <laughs> you don't have to go to war. Are you kidding me? You basically have to go to war. This is one of the worst things I've ever experienced in Hoi 4. <laughs> and you just lose all this part of Texas and, Oklahoma and give it to Oklahoma and them. I mean, why? Why? Uh, that's LBJ. Very powerful Texas force. Uh, we'll, lock the, we'll be locked at level once your focus is complete. No more random Texas Rangers events. Uh, Texas Navy, Air Force, Economy. Well, James R. has long been grooming his young successor LBJ from Stonewall, Texas. Johnson has been a strong defender of all of Allred's programs. Allred in return is rarely seen without the large LBJ following him around. Allred supports LBJ without a doubt. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no. My opinion is mine has just drastically decreased in, in, by an insane amount. I mean, there's nothing you can do. You're going to lose Dallas and Fort Worth and Houston? <laughs> well, my just plays Louisiana and Oklahoma. Who cares about playing Texas then? Must be super easy to play as Oklahoma. I should play as Oklahoma next. They gotta be really easy to play as. I didn't think I'd be end up being this negative for this campaign, but Jesus Christ, is it bad? Infantry, yeah, we want more daily army XP at this point. Alright, so with LBJ going on along his way. Uh, civil rights. Uh segregation, that'd probably yeah, that'd be good to get rid of. Let's declare war on poverty first. Poverty's long been Texas' enemy. We must defeat this monster who starves our people. What is this? Build a better text. Add isolationism. Ooh, I don't know about that. Can just fight world goals against creatures you've not developed well attention. Yeah, gain 25 de currency for development. Yeah, I can't imagine. This campaign's not going to be very long if that's going to be like this. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no. Um, Distant sections from the south. Endorse the civil rights movement. I want to get the extra political power. Texas has long been the group as just another bigoted southern state by the northern papers. LBJ seeks to end that stigma and help all Texans. Stepping, step one must be endorsing the small urban civil rights in uh, Texas. Holy crap. This is definitely not what I expected for this campaign. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Get more. I mean, it says get more base war support, but eh, and we probably do, but still. I hope they have a lot of resistance. I mean, this is stupid. All right, more attack bombers. We need way more guns. Condemn their actions. Nah, yeah, we're good. I think clear war on poverty. And pass the Civil Rights Act. LBJ has decided to press the Texas House and enact the Civil Rights Act, which protects African Texans' the right to vote. The bill also will end segregation of the Texas government, while LBJ seeks to go further than many other politicians refuse to bow any more concessions to them. Look to the Midwest, create factions. New Mexico and Kansas. And Nebraska. Brother forever. Why do we... Remove Texas pacifists. Do we still have Texas pacifists here? Powerful, very powerful Texas Rangers. Eh, whatever. A national tragedy, of course. Crime wave. No, we don't have that, so there's literally no point to do that. We get a cost reduction, though. It's not bad, but still. Why do we... Why do we got the Midwestern Brotherhood? Is this... Is this... Fallout? Is this Old World Blues? I just I want to go right back to war. Like I'm going right back to war as soon as we possibly can, basically. Not 
National Tragedy. We're going to grab a lot of engineers. Oh, they already have engineers. Well, it didn't seem like it. It didn't seem like it at all. Interwar Artillery. Um, let's see, get some more output. And Tree Interdiction. Let's go Fleet and Being for this one, because we can. Oh, they're both guys. Eh, yeah, Hood, why not? We like Hood. Hood is cool. Alright, Ace Generation. Uh, War Economy would be nice, too, but after passing that, we get to use more stability. Crime Wave has been dealt with. Wow, that was fast. Distant sectors from the South. Almost all the Souths fall into demagogues like Talmage, Bilbo, Murray, and Long. Democracy is largely a deep letter here. As a result, Texas must embrace its Western cowboy identity going forward. Alright, well, we have that. LBJ do be looking kind of young, though. Oh, yeah. And we probably want to get that stability first and then come over here. Um, we get more Warspur, too. Abolish the old army. Keep the armies in extension. Oh, wait, do we delete all like all divisions? We lose Warspur, get more political power, the new police force. New highway patrol. Overrun the courts. Overrun the mayors. New mayors. New high court. The new government. The Texas Rangers Republic. Oh. Well, maybe we don't want them then. Oh, well, that's different. Uh, well, I'm glad I looked at before we went all the way down there. Yeah. Maybe we're going to go down here then. Powerful Texas Rangers Force then. Well, traditions. Guardian Rangers. That'd be pretty good. Reassure the people. Yeah, we, maybe we want powerful. That, that's probably the way we want to go. More important than the army, huh? Yeah, go and buy the weapons. And since we're here, actually, attack bombers are not bad. You know, let me know in the comments. Were you able to fight Oklahoma and Louisiana at the same time? Because that's just a bunch of crap. An absolute bunch of crap. So instead of doing that one immediately, let's come over to investments. I guess. Let me know if you can, because obviously, as you can tell, I, I couldn't. I, I can't do anything against that. Like, that's... That's ridiculous. There's no balance here at all. Zero balance. War reparations? What a bunch of crap. Uh, cavalry, let's duplicate this and call this uh, garrisons. Alrighty. Well, we did buy some guns. Doesn't seem like it went all the way through, though. I like to take out the Rio Grande, but... Man, playing as a democracy sucks. It really sucks. Rapid population growth, and make a lot of babies. Militarism's pretty good, though. That's pretty good for them, actually. Um, anything else we can add here? No? Doing quite a bit of army XP every single day, though. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Look at everything we lost. Ridiculous. Uh, we got a support equipment, though. Artillery's not bad. We'll definitely need it on these guys, too, though. Economic investments. Not bad. Continue oil investments. Oh, uh, that's good. That's actually really good stuff. Lessons from the Dust Bowl. Ooh, deal with the depression. The depression has been eating it away. Our economy will be and being well, well-being for years now. It's time to come and try and fix the issue. Yeah, that's good. Um, after that one, hybrid stuff, industry. I like that fuel construction. Fuel construction, consumer goods. Texas can progress more out of oil if we put just a little bit of money in the issue. The more oil we have, the more money we can get out of it. Leave them beat new. No. There you go, that's a little better. So then we'll go with powerful Texas Rangers. I don't know. Does LBJ like Texas Rangers? Here. Extension of the army. I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see what we end up. I mean, it doesn't have to be powerful. Uh, War support, why not? There you go, too. Anything here? No. Anything? Oh, we got a lot of political power. Uh, we'll wait. Depression. I'm all the way to go back to war with these guys. Because I don't see the point in doing that all the way down here. Get 5% more. I mean, that's nice and all. But I'm so unimpressed with this, it's not even funny. Moderate Texas forces. Now, let's go. Relax restrictions. And power with Texas Rangers. Hmm, maneuver. 
speed, infantry. I'd like to do that one again, but I'm trying to max out what we have already. Nothing there. That's of importance. Um, cowboy advisor. Oh, crap. Are you kidding me? Is this going to bypass this? Hold on. So right now, we can tighten regulations. So we decrease it. So we need to increase it. Decrease it. There we go. Populist demagogue. I'll go with Captain of Industry for now. It's fine. I'll only get... Oh, but one. That's not bad. So after that one... Yeah. That's not bad. Great Depression. Secure Oil. I like that one, too. Secure Oil Imports and Continue Oil Investments. I think both of these will be very, very good. And here we are at, everybody, which we're, we've already done Export to Europe. And currently, we are doing an oil research fund. Oil is one of our finest, most profitable resources. We need to work on becoming an oil powerhouse if we're to gain our footing in the world. Which sounds about right. Expand the power grid? Why not? Oh, uh, yeah. I think Texas actually has its own power grid. There's one like the East Coast, one for the West Coast, but Texas has its own because of World War II in our own timeline, which is actually pretty cool. New England Hurricane? Not bad, as we're just beelining through this mod right now. Um, well, I guess everything right now is for revenge against Oklahoma and Louisiana, and I'm going to butcher the crap out of the, both those nations as best we possibly can, I guess, you know, states. But, yeah, I, I just can't support playing Texas. It, I, no, I just can't. Um, 1940's not bad. Uh, introduce introduce hybrid, hybrid sea corn, huh? Lesson from the Dust Bowl? The good description focus. Good. Um, right now, we're just going to build an industry. Like, we lost way too many factories. Like, I, I don't understand what we're supposed to do here. I know what. I hope they can never core this as well. I really hope that they can never core this. Because they stole stuff from us. Why? Panhandle? They stole so much from us. Four slots uh, over here. They have three slots, four slots, uh, five slots, so... Yeah, no. Um, let's see. We're going to grow. Oh, we didn't have anything for land auction too. Probably land grand battle plan. Yeah, honestly, we need it for entrenchment. Like, I don't care what it takes, but we need that. Um, what else we got? Fuel. I'm not too worried about fuel. Maybe get some resources. Uh, not really. Not really. Actually, at all. If that's a case, going. It's a, just a little bit ahead of town. Let's grab some of that too. I'm gonna buy more guns. We only get four thousand, which is not enough. But you know what? It's better than nothing. Lessons from the Dust Bowl. The. And what else? Export to North America. Ooh, remove the Great Depression. Well, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd actually be very good for us. Yeah, we definitely want this. Remove the Great... Remove two Great Depressions. Oh, so we were depressed twice. And then we can do this now. Okay, well, we'll do that too. I guess why not? Because we can. And then we get seven. Not bad. Uh, since we're going to get stuff anyways... Why would we choose Nimitz when Johannes Taylor gives us more daily naval XP and more capital ship attack and defense, screen attack and defense as well? Um, yeah, I don't think there's any point to do the other one. But at least we get 50% more consumer goods, 10% more recruitable population factor. It's oil exports, booming oil industry. We saw the powerful Texas Ranger, which is very nice. But yeah, the state of the depression forgot. Probably forgotten. Never another dust bowl. Remove hyper. Masters of farming, weekly manpower. Honestly, um, you remove mechanized farming as well. Is that over here? Remove mechanized farming. Huh. So I might actually want to do all this stuff first and then do some of that other stuff. So go here and then get rid of this, get this one done too. Hmm. Still building. Not bad. Not bad. State of the Depression. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So, because this one will remove... The masters of farming eventually, which I don't agree with. Why do we get rid of that f fully? Pioneers. Recognize farming for 100 days. Well, let's go with introduce hybrid seed corn so we can get this one unlocked as well. Hybrid seed corn is a unique and very specialized crop. Using hybrid seed corn, a farmer can, can uses corn inbred from two separate varieties of corn. Hybrid seed corn is shown to be more hardy, longer lasting, and drought resistant than normal varieties of corn. Well, that's nice. Happy 1939, everybody. You're still watching this, even though I was raging earlier, and I'm still pretty pissed off about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Well, there's only 9% of world tension, so... I guess if you really want to unite this area, you really have to go not play Democratic, so... I guess the goal is just to kill them off. Yeah. I don't know if I can play Texas again until I get another update, so... But overall, not bad. This is looking good. We're throwing some artillery, support artillery under divisions as well. We've made sure all of our divisions have engineers, like off-screen. I made these guys AT combo with, so they're looking okay now. Our cavalry is looking pretty decent as well, very similar to the, to the infantry. So, 
Or well, not bad. I red sea corn for more monthly population and stability would be very, very awesome. And we need quality farmers, education, future economic investments, arms industries. It's not really worth doing yet. 1939 stuff takes. Yes, yes, yes. Anything over here? Mm, not really. Higher mercs. Some more manpower. Costs 250 to get that much manpower. That's not worth it. Uh, there you go. Get some of that too. It's not going to help us out at all immediately, but whatever. You know what's good? Just go that one too. Introduce hybrid seed corn. Organize Texas people's army. Mine of pesticides. Yeah, a bonus for industry. 1939. We're already pretty good. I don't really need to focus too much on navy though. Uh, the Air Force wouldn't be bad to do. Not super needed, though. But let's go with more important than the Army. You get a lot more war support, and you lose some stability, which does kind of suck, not going to lie. But, uh, build a better Texas. Yeah, no. Take our third loan. Look towards the Midwest. Well, we can do that one anyways. Um, better planes? Let's get some better guns. Nice. Put a bit of text. We're gonna wait on all that stuff. More important than the army. And then keep the army as an extension to get more stability as well. Which would be good. So we're we looking at that. So we're looking pretty good now on artillery. It's not bad. Support comes slowly getting better. Guns are not too bad. We got plenty of trucks. Trains looking alright. We just don't have enough of anything here. Um You know what? Officer. Let's create the agency, and I'll start supporting rebels down here too. Hey, how do they have so much manpower? Oh, they're on extensive, I guess. We're only unlimited, but still. One point in the army. Keep the armies an extension. Uh, nothing really that we really care about too much. Teach the army. Pretty much cost reduction for land auction would be great. We didn't have anything for land auction. I hate it when mods just. Oh, just have a war. You didn't. You can't do anything about this. Just, just have a war. Oh, hey, yeah, beat up Ohio. No one likes Ohio. What's the combined armies of K Indiana, Kentucky, and West Virginia? Beat the crap out of Ohio, please. If there's any state I hate more than Ohio, it's Illinois. But still, oh, look at these guys. The Upper Delta. Kind of happy, Henry Winston. Oh, he's got the like, folks here too. Pretty good. I'll be all down here too. Ned Cobb, yes sir. Keep the armies in extension. Teach the army. Um, it is course 39. Get some better artillery as well. Nothing really here that we really care about too much. Uh, oh wow. Well, there goes them guys. Military factories would be nice. Cavalry attack and defense could be very beneficial as well. Even though I would like a Bob Williams too. I might just go with Bob Williams. Cavalry attack and defense is not bad, but I'll go with that one right now. Lucas Taylor. Loyal to Dan Moody. Well, let's go with Lucas Brown then. There we go. Keep building us up a little more. Teach the army. Pioneer new ranger tactics. Old traditions. Ranger tactics. Why not? Alright, let's go with that. More max planning is not bad. Construction 3. Um, nothing there we really care about. But better engineers, yeah. Logistics would be nice, but we have enough already now, which is good. Uh, we need more guns, of course, like normal, but... Oh, Jim White? Sure, why not? Alright. Ohio's gone, thank God. Ohio's gone. Toledo, Cleveland, Dayton were all stuff. Okay, built Intel, quiet Intel, boost ideology, propaganda. Destabilize internal politics. That's not bad. Resistance. So if I do that, will resistance increase? No, because of uh, compliance. Point one. Is it actually going to go down at all? Oh, it actually might go down. Forced labor, high compliance. Eh, it's barely going down. Ranger tactics, ranger weapons, guardian rangers. Oh, yeah, I get more population defense on core territory. We could have used that one earlier. 15 is not bad, though. Keep building, 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 building. Excavation 2, not bad. 
Uh, we don't really have recon on our guys yet. Um, tanks are all right. Not super great. Ah, goes recon anyways. And over here, it's not that hard of time. There we go. But already is nice. Could use a spot more rubber. Better infantry equipment. Got more extraction because he can. So now we're looking pretty decent on guns. Well, maybe not that decent, but decent enough. Buy more guns, we're going to need them later on. I guarantee you we're going to need them. Uh, reassure the people? Ah, oh, crap. Agent was captured, huh? Well, crap. That ain't good. Mm. Nice. More defense and organization? Yes, please. Reassure the people, huh? Find jobs for them. Recruit them. Armies. Yeah, I'll do this one too. The army as a supplement. That'll be good, yeah. Can we do this yet? No. Not quite. There we go. Army as a supplement. Isn't bad. Um, there's no way I can go to war economy yet. Yeah, this stuff can all wait. Um, honestly, I probably as much as I want to pioneer new, new rangers, I'll probably go with old traditions, which we can wait just for a little bit on. So we're gonna wait for that one. Let's pioneer mechanized farming first. I think that'd be for the best. Yeah. Good. We got twelve days left. That's fine. Um, anything else here? Better engineers, go and grab. Researchers is fine. It's better planes. Give it a couple days first. I want to at least build a little bit more here first before we keep going on with that other stuff. Construction speed is not bad. Industrial. Uh, light aircraft, why not? Points for industry. Experimenting with combines. Pretty much. That'd be good to do. So much arty do we have? Because I'm going to start throwing arty on... How did the guy die? No. Good thing he didn't. Oh, look at that manpower. At least we have some manpower now. Keep building, 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 building. Mm, I might go with... Actually, let's see. Happy 1940, everybody. Let's go here, too. Support equipment's looking pretty bad. We got enough guns. I might just go up to something like this. Actually, just one there. 26 combo width. I just want more soft attack. But we don't have enough for that, so reset. 20 combo width, I've heard, is not really super ideal. But at the same time, you know, you never know. Um, you gotta have at least two divisions per tile, though. There's no way we're going to be able to win a war like this. Unless we have two divisions per tile. So. Make more. Now we're out of guns again. Uh, can you please buy more guns? Please. Pioneer mechanized farming. Mechanized farming. Oh. And quality education for farmers. Many farmers in Texas never even read a book. And they can't. So a new program must be started to see it so that these people get a basic education, Which sounds pretty good to do. Um... We're going to need a lot of guns where we're headed. And a lot of sport equipment. A lot of military factories in general. Let's build up the North Texas Strip first, and then we'll build military factories at the same time. Just hurry up, come on. Excavation. Radar. You're done. Now build up some. 6% is not bad. 80% is even better, though. I do like that. You should be done by July, and you'll be done by March. We do what integration. I hope they go to war, back to war with us. I, I I think we do a lot better this time since we actually have entrenchment. We actually have defense. So, Palestine, Texas, huh? I have any other factions formed yet? Western Defense Initiative. Also, this is on a historical the Franco Alliance. What the heck? 
This is disgusting. I thought they'd divide this up a lot better than this. Wow. Uh, the Democratic League. What is this? The Southern Committee. Jeffersonian League. Um, there we go, too. Keep building, building, building. Uh, material designer, small arms, infantry. That'd be good. Quickly manpower, group of population, construction speed. Just never enough. Build the crap out of everything, please. Guns looking a little better. Tiller's not bad either. Roof computing machine, go with engineers. Okay. After that. Fighter 2s would be good. Grab logistics because he can. With more soft stack and breakthrough. I apologize, there's not much going on here. It's just. There's nothing we can do. There's literally nothing we can do. They buff the crap out of Louisiana and Oklahoma for no reason. To kill us off, so. Strength of the homeland. Provide Georgia to the league. Demand Biloxi. Uh, every man a king. Louisiana dollar. That's not bad. That's really strong, actually. Very strong. Quality education. Followed up with. Pesticides. Yeah, I go with pesticides. Why not? Attack bombers. Very nice. Some anti air, because you're going to need it eventually. Some anti force to get some better artillery. So if we ever get attacked again, my god, they will be ready to beat the crap out of everyone who comes and tries to strike us. And grab some of that too. And then rubber wheeled tractors. Truly mechanized farming. Well, I want to wait till this one's expired first, and then we'll go down here and mechanize farming. I think that'll be best. Want more stability. Stability, 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 stability. There you go. Train as well if you can. And now we're out of guns again. Hmm. And sport equipment. And planes. And all the good stuff. After that, I think I'll probably do some of this off screen, maybe. That's only 14 days off. Maybe we'll just let it go for just a little bit longer first. And then we'll see. Uh, 56 days. Why is that 14? This one's 56 as well. So we'll do this one. I'll probably do this one off screen as well. And never another Dust Bowl. Researchers have found the cause of the Dust Bowl. Now is the time to act upon it to see it never happens again. Look at those mechanized farming. Alright, well. And let's see. Doctrine's good. Very nice. Negotiate volunteer forces. Ooh, we got another horse division. Nice. Modern pesticides. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, I guess, uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what you thought of this war earlier. I, did you like this? Did you not like this? Because I hated this. But regards, thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day.